A lot of you guys have been asking me to set up a store page where you can browse Diplex seeded merchandise, so I have. The link in the description takes you there. As always, thank you so much for leaving a like and a comment on the video. Your support really helps me out. Let's start the video. Hey, what's up guys, Diplex here again. Welcome back to Rob's Realism Mod and welcome to the Eastern Front. The year is 1943 and we're about to witness a battle between the German army and the Soviet army. I'm super excited to be bringing you this because it's going to be a very big and explosive battle. I figured you guys would appreciate that. We've got lots of tanks in a big variety uh, supported by infantry and it's going to be pretty explosive. Um, the map is overall fairly large it'll work nicely with the ranges and all the units deployed um, we've got a Russian village in the center that is currently being defended by the Russians they've got some AT equipment uh, mortars and infantry support guns they've also got a load of tanks and infantry coming up from behind to support them uh, on the German side of things um, they're, they're sort of surrounding the town itself on all the roads They've set out their tanks, they've got Tigers, Stug 3s, Panzer 4s, and lots of Panzer Grenadiers. The Russians have got some good um, AT support guns, uh, plenty of T-34s, Mod 1943, um, a good variety, some KV-1s, and a couple of KV-85s. The KV-85s were produced from September 1943 to December of 1943 and after that I presume they were replaced by the IS series so we've got a few of those deployed here too uh, I'm excited for this battle hopefully you guys will enjoy it too and uh, I was supposed to upload a Pacific video today I was supposed to actually start a Pacific miniseries um, I said so during the Battle of Berlin miniseries that we ran last week it was very successful but 4th of July happened so I haven't had any time to prepare this weekend uh, I'll have to you know um, schedule that for the for next Monday and we'll start something cool over in the Pacific uh, there's plenty of cool things to do um, but without further ado let's enjoy some random battles this week with plenty of variety and gaming content and uh, we'll, we'll do more scheduled things next week. So uh, don't forget to write in the comment section and like the video, um, if you like it, that is. And write what you'd like to see next, if you want to see like the Battle of Kursk, uh, Battle of Kharkov, um, plenty of different things we can do. Perhaps even a little 1940s British Expeditionary Force versus the advancing German army. Um, here's the mini-map. That'll give you a good look of what's going on. We've got the Russians in green and the Germans in red. As you can tell, the, the, the Russians seem to be more in numbers, and uh, they are. But, uh, you know, that tiger, maybe <laughs> that tiger. Um, but anyway, let's uh, not get into the discussion of numbers. I'd like to keep the results of this battle um, as a surprise. And fact is, it'll probably be a surprise for, for me too, because um, things never go as planned. And in this case, I didn't quite plan for any faction to take take home the victory. This is not a historical scenario. This is not based on a historical battle. This is just a skirmish between the two fighting factions. Let's see who can take home the victory in this uh, quite heated tank battle. Let's start. And right off the bat, the center positions will be taking most of the German fire. Nice little German advance here across the creek. Sort of a shallow river.
Lots of smoke pillars are rising in the horizon. It signals that there is a heated tank battle going on here. Stay away. The center is still held by the Russians. Uh, there's a clear presence of Russian soldiers still in the village, but plenty of Germans are uh, approaching their position. We've got Panzer Grenadiers supported by some some Tigers and Panzer Force. They're going to be moving into the village itself. Oh my god. Russian armor is still active outside the city itself. few Russian tank destroyers on the by the outskirts of the city battling the advancing German armor and it seems like they may have dealt with the forward push there's a T-34 down here that's sitting steady and there's a line of SU-85s along this side that are all ready for combat there's also a KV-1 sitting pretty right here let's flip up the minimap and let's have a look at the current situation the Germans are kind of coming around the village and there's going to be a lot of infantry fighting in the center so let's enjoy that for now there's plenty of armor uh, down west of this position to to enjoy later so the infantry is going to be fighting in the ruins that the the German and Russian armor have left behind here's some nice panzer grenadiers I love the skins Tigers supported by a Panzer IV is coming around. I think this Panzer IV has lost its turret, but it's going to use its body for support together with the machine guns on the lower hull, I'm sure. Uh, that is what I think it has planned. More Russian infantry in the windows here. Trying to battle the advancing German Panzer Grenadiers. They're slowly getting pushed out of the village itself. Lots of Russian infantry in panic here as that their armor support has gone down uh, facing the German armor. There is Plenty on the side back here. We're going to see they're still in action. The battle is not over at all. Russian armor is still battling the advancing Germans. And they have brought down many German tanks uh, during their time here on the battlefield. Plenty of smoke clouds from both factions arise. Lots of dead Germans litter this shallow river. This tank destroyer is scanning for targets. This T-34 is doing the same thing. They're out of each other's vision for now. Some explosions in the distance. Russian tank destroyers are on the move. Advancing towards the enemy. Barely any infantry support down here. There's a few survivors <laughs> from the Panzer Grenadier attack down here towards the west of the village. And they're going to be receiving some armor support as they're going to try and push back the Germans while while they're going to be receiving them on this side. Two Tigers, lots of Panzer Grenadiers coming in from this flank. We've got another Tiger and another Panzer IV out here in the open. We're going to go through the casualties and numbers once this battle has been concluded. So far, the result is very unclear. Oh! Side hit, and the crew is going to be bailing out. Just 
Stug 3 taking some fire from the T-34, but it is later taken out by some of the flanking German forces. KV-1 down here sitting pretty, and this Su-85 has gone down. Let's look at the map again. I think there are supposedly two functional Russian tanks and infantry down south. While the Germans are advancing on their position, we've got a DTR moving up. And that Sturm, uh, Geschütz, or the Stug, rather, is uh, kicking back into action. I believe this is a, uh, yeah, Stug 3 Ausf. Very nice tank. Tigers moving in to finish the job. Panzer Grenadiers are arriving down the main road, leading out of the village itself onto a field. Want to stay a little frosty here because there is more Russian infantry crawling about the place. They're all currently pinned, though, of course, by the attacking Germans. This DTR is entirely flipped, which is interesting. There goes that tank. Let me look if this... Uh, oh, it's not... It's, it's knocked out. Tiger has taken that out. One or another tank has taken that out at least. Now it is the Panzer Grenadiers coming in to finish the battle. Oh. Poor Soviet soldiers. And the turret MG gunner is going to deal with that. That, my friends, is it. I am going to look at some of the casualties. The Germans will be littered in, um, let's see here, in red. Or the Germans will be colored red. Plenty of Panzer Grenadiers dead as they've tried to approach the village itself. You can tell that there's just plenty of casualties around the village. Uh, the yellow are the Russians, of course, and they've lost a lot of troops trying to support their armor. Lots of them dead in the village itself and across the river here while they're trying to cross. Tank-wise, um, seeing as every single Russian tank has been destroyed, they have lost 16 T-34 Mod 1943s, 4 KV-1s, uh, one S, I believe, uh, two KV-85s, four SU-85s, four SU-76, and probably a good company of uh, 120 Russian infantrymen, which is pretty cool. Could be even more than that. Uh, on the German side, I see that at least, well, they've all gathered nicely. Three Tigers remain. That means they've lost one out of the four. Uh, all the, a lot of BTRs seem to be fine, but obviously a lot have gone down to some to some Russian uh, fire. Uh, BTR is not hard to knock out, so we're going to see plenty of smoke from BTRs around the field. Plenty of Panzer IVs. They had 10 deployed, I believe. Um, or 8. Let me think. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. They probably had about 10, so 6 less than the T-34s there on their side. Um, and they've got probably a good 4 remaining out of those. A lot of the smoke around here is from uh, Panzer IVs down as they've tried to approach six Stugs, whereas I think about two or three are alive out of the six. Plenty of them are down too. A lot of, most of the smoke come from inside the town, but that's where pretty much all the tanks have gone down fighting as well. And on the side, very cool. Not all tanks smoke, of course, down here in the water. They've all cooled off nicely. Hope you guys enjoyed this fight, and if you guys want to see more massive battles like this, I was thinking doing some desert battles with British tanks and German tanks and more Western Front, Germans and all that stuff. Even more Eastern Front stuff. Maybe even some urban tank battles. Um, I have a bad experience uh, in the previous Battle of Redland series with tanks. They just don't want to work in cities. They drive around and mess things up. But hope you guys enjoyed this, and let me know if you guys want to see more, and I will provide it to you. Have a good 4th of July, have a good day, have a good Monday, especially, and um, I'll see you tomorrow. There's going to be more Star Wars Galaxy War coming out too, so stay tuned for that, and until next time, you guys enjoy. Bye.